Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is tip for Tuesday, but I didn't realize that when I planned out for today. <laughs> I don't know how, but I did plan for National Panini Day. It's also National Panini Day. So we're going to make a panini today instead of doing tip. Well, if I do have, I'll have a tip for you somewhere along the line, I'm sure. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food and fun, tips and tricks for your kitchen that I forgot about. <laughs> Go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below so you can find out how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. All right, so when I saw it was National Panini Day, I got all excited. I love paninis. I love my panini maker and I love the bread that they sell at Aldi's. It's like a sourdough. It's a big round loaf and it's pre-sliced and then, oh my gosh, they're this big. So if you make one sandwich, it's enough to feed two people and I just love it. So it, it's just perfect. <laughs> I love making paninis in there, but I thought, well, how can I do this different? So I thought, let's get out the waffle maker. Let's make a panini in the waffle maker instead. So then I thought, well, I'm either going to have to make like some kind of dough to make bread in there, like maybe a cornbread or something. And I thought, no, I'm just going to buy some round bread. So I thought either King's Hawaiian or rye bread. So I picked up the rye bread and I thought, yes, we're going to do Reuben sandwiches because I just love Reuben sandwiches too. So they did not have any corned beef at the deli though. So we just got regular roast beef, but that's okay. We'll make do, right? All right, so one of the things I love to do, though, is sauerkraut. I love to spruce it up just a little bit. So I've got a can of sauerkraut here, which probably half of it's going to go to the animals outside. <laughs> I'm the only person in this house that will eat sauerkraut. And I like it a specific way, too. I think I was watching America's Test Kitchen. You know how they test out all different kinds of foods and gadgets and stuff like that? They were testing sauerkraut, and they tested the canned versus the jarred versus fresh. And what they found was, the fresh stuff was not as good as the canned stuff and the jar stuff because I guess it has to sit and almost like develop its flavors. So if you're buying it fresh, it's more like cabbage, maybe like in a sauce. I don't know. But they said the, I forgot what brand was best, but it was in a jar. So, but they said even this was better than fresh. So I don't know. I just happened to find this downstairs in my pantry. All right. So I'm just going to heat this up. Now what I'm going to do is add a couple of tablespoons of sugar. And then I'm also going to add some caraway seeds. And I can add as many as I like because no one's eating this for me. <laughs> Actually, my mom might eat some. She likes sauerkraut. So maybe I'll save some of this for her. So I'm just going to stir this together. And I'm just going to keep warming this until it's heated all the way through. And then we'll set this aside and we'll get to warming up our waffle maker. Okay, sauerkraut is heated through. Now, I did not think through. <laughs> that the waffle maker doesn't really close all the way. So this is some pretty thick bread. I mean, it closes all the way, but then you're supposed to turn it and all that. So because it's not a batter, I don't think it really needs to close all the way. And I like to grill both sides of my bread. So basically I just got some melted butter here and we're just gonna do both sides. And I'm gonna grill each one of these pieces of bread individually. So it's gonna be nice and crispy. I'm gonna close it up. All right, I think this piece is done. Oh my goodness, look how crispy that is. <laughs> this is gonna be fabulous, I think, I think. All right, so other piece of bread. This one I already put a little butter on. All right, so we're gonna close this one up. Scoot it back a little bit, there we go. And we'll wait for this one to get grilled. All right, that is looking good. So let's put a little bit of sauerkraut on here. I'm definitely not gonna be able to get this to close now. All right, so a little bit of sauerkraut. My husband would just be having a hard attack over this sauerkraut. <laughs> he just does not like it. He's going to tell me I ruined the whole sandwich. But I can put as much as I want on here. He's not home. <laughs> and I can't eat this sandwich by myself, so I guess I'll just save the leftovers for myself. So I'm just going to layer up our beef. And I really wish they would have had some corned beef, but I like regular roast beef too, so we'll just kind of pretend. <laughs> it doesn't quite have all the seasoning as corned beef. This is going to be a monster Reuben. Well, we don't have that much left over here, so we might as well just pile it all on. It'll make for a pretty picture anyway, I hope. Let's taste our beef. I heated it up in the microwave just a little bit. All right, some cheese. And I just kind of cut my pieces of cheese where I thought they would fit on here. And then which side was up? Hmm. I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. Let's see, will it close? No, it will not. Will it close better if I do it the other way? 
Probably not. We're just waiting on the cheese to melt. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put my Thousand Island on there. That's okay. We can always dip it. We can do that. All right. I think that's as close to done as we're going to get. <laughs> I mean, the meat is cooked. As long as the cheese is melted, everything's pretty much heated through. Wow. Look how crispy that is. That's almost too crispy. That's all right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is going to taste good. Even though my husband would disagree. Then we'll just cut it in half again. Then, like I said, because we forgot to put our dressing on, we will just dip our sandwich in here. Oh, my goodness. That is so much better than what I expected it to be. I mean, I knew it would be good, but the bread is so crispy. It's like a perfectly grilled, grilled cheese, but it's not. It's a Reuben. <laughs> or it's somewhat like a Reuben. Has roast beef on it. Wow, that is really, really good. I bet you could do this with a lot of different sandwiches. Yeah, I just wanted to do something fun. I didn't expect it to taste that good, but it was really, really good. So, yeah, I guess that's my tip for the day. Get out your waffle maker and make some different stuff in it besides waffles. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, give it a try. It's absolutely delicious. I thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.